at summer glow, but we know the dangers of the sun and we know that tanning beds can be dangerous too. So a lot of people resort to spray tanning to get the look without the health risks. But is it really safe? We've got Noel Sherber from CRM Dermatology joining us live in studio with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. I didn't know that there was a chance that spray tanning could be dangerous. What kind of risks are we talking? Well, there's been buzz recently about DHA, which is the active ingredient in self tanners that gives you that temporary brown mm -hmm. hue to your skin. Now, DHA is something that the FDA does regulate, but only as a color additive. Huh. And when the FDA originally started looking into this long ago, it gave very basic guidelines, like don't breathe it in, don't ingest it, don't put it in your eye area, right. your lips. Now with the advent of these spray tan booths, this chemical is going places it had never gone before. Mm -hmm. And that's prompted people to look into its safety. What are the dangers of it? What can it cause? What can it do? In humans, the answer is really we don't know. The data that have come to light recently and are getting attention are really from the 90s. They're old data, and they involve petri dishes of cells, not humans, uh -huh. but bacterial cells, mouse cells, and it looked like DHA was able to trigger some DNA mutations in these cells. Hmm. But when you then look at a human who's using it on the skin, we think that you absorb less than a half of 1% of what you even put on your body. It's not that so much. the risk is probably very small. What if you're tanning once a week? Is that too much? What, what is the, the recommendations for that? I think it's all about common sense. You know, the toddlers and tiaras thing, taking little children <laughs> right. into the spray tan booth, probably not a great idea. And if you are going to use these products, I recommend to my patients avoiding inhaling it. Mm -hmm. And in the spray tan booths... Hold your breath. It's hard. I mean, the stuff is <laughs> kind of everywhere. Time. Exactly. So I brought here a product. These are Kate Somerville 360 Tanning Wipes. Kelly Ripa announced this week that these are her favorite way what of is keeping this? a glow. These are tanning towelettes. So you can basically rub them on your skin and they don't give you the risk with a spray that you could end up inhaling it right. or putting it somewhere you don't mean to. Huh. And probably you do want to avoid the thin skinned areas around the eyes. Yeah. Sort of feather it so you don't get the uh, raccoon look. <laughs> Which would look better yeah. anyway. So these are probably a safer bet. So that's the towelette. What about the lotions that you put on? Are those okay? Probably. And again, with DHA, we don't have human studies. I think it's all about, again, common sense. You know, mm -hmm. using it in moderation, maybe using it more before big events than just every day. Some products have it for daily use. Uh -huh. You're getting a lot more overall exposure. And if you're really worried about DHA, you can always use the Old Faithful. This is my absolutely giant bronzer. I was going to say, like, this is there a bigger bronzer? That is impressive. Is it that's the biggest make bronzer you you've ever seen. And that's so, the safe way to go. No DHA in okay. that. And also be a little careful when you see claims about organic spray tans. I've mm -hmm. noticed that popping up a lot. Yeah. DHA, it's food grade. There's a different DHA that's an omega-3 fatty acid, not the tanning chemical. Okay. So a little buyer beware about that. Good to know. Noel, thank you so much for coming in again. You're we welcome. appreciate it. Hopefully that helps some of you. But if you want more information on what we're talking about here and on spray tans, log on to foxbaltimore.com slash mornings.